this is a beautiful Evo 10. Uh, you're the owner. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. You hit a deer yeah, on the road, so and then uh, that led to uh, failure of your oiling system and a need for a motor. Here, hold on to this. We'll do a little blast, man. You ready? I'm ready. I'm going to test out your car here. It's running pretty good. She's running very smooth, actually. Wow, you can hear the difference in that motor. No doubt, very it's smooth. Smooth motor, no. Wow, way different you, than the factory. Uh, we made you a Cosworth uh, motor, fully balanced, blue printed. Um, it has pistons, rods, stock crank. The crank is very good. Um, no sleeves. Right now, uh, the thing that's holding you back is you got the cat in there. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why you have the cat, but you want to pass emissions. You want to be emissions legal. Uh, the car makes like 330 to the tire uh, with the with the cat. You gotta get rid of that cat. I know New York State sucks. <laughs> uh, got some nice gauges down here for you. Uh, you got your boost gauge over here and your your air fuel gauge over here. Kind of stealth down there, you know where you can keep an eye on it. Uh, the car definitely pulls good. Shifts good. The only thing I have it done for you is fix first gear. You can see the car is just fucking awesome, man. That's how much you can go. Very smooth, no? Yeah, way smoother. The engine is like a... It sounds completely different than the other engine. Yeah, it's it, like, really it feels like a six-cylinder BMW, man. It's very smooth, you know? The, 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 this motor is definitely a step forward from the old 4G63. It, it has four-bolt mains. It has a really tremendous crank. Balance this one, it's very smooth. The engine is really good. How are you, you feeling? Are you happy? Yeah, I'll tell you what, it yeah. sounds awesome. It I really, you can feel I that it you, feels you, smooth. You like to do a lot of high speed bonsaiing, right? That's me. Um, I'm not a guy that takes it to a drag race, but I'm a guy that definitely races on the road, if you know what I mean. I'm in and out of traffic and light to light, and I love to pass it's, people. It's a beautiful running car. Um, uh, like I said, the only thing that's really holding you back is a cat, but it might be a good thing because these, these, uh, the clutch on this car only holds about 350. When we had on a dyno making 340, it started to slip. Yeah. So I turned it down to about 335. Um, it, uh, I think I got the, let's see, let's see, here's the dyno sheet. Yeah. This is the most power I can make. You can see that the clutch is slipping right here on the dyno sheet. Yeah. Around uh, 4,000 RPM to slip the clutch out. It, uh, this was 345 torque and 335 horsepower. It's a nice power band, but if you if you went to a, a catless system, you pick up at least 30 horsepower. You got the Busher test pipe. You got Busher exhaust, Busher air filter, and um, that's about it as far as power bonds go. That's it. They got clutch kits coming out for this too. Well, so I'm, I'm, I'm one of those guys. I want to see how it works. Yep. I want to want to make sure that they're good. And they work, then we'll put it in your car. Yep, yep. Right now, you got a car that's fully functional. You can drive it anywhere. The car runs great. Why screw around, you know? I agree. I, I would say uh, that, that uh, this car could be a high 11 second car right now, the way it runs. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's certainly a big difference. You put in close to an extra 100 horse in here from the factory, so. It's running good, and we mess with the transmission things, but not first gear. Yeah. First gear has a limiter that uh, limits the, the throttle angle in first gear when you launch it, and I didn't take that out at your request because you don't want to possibly break the transmission, so we'll we'll explore, depending on how the car holds up to this power, yep. maybe we'll explore the possibility next time you come in to get rid of that, you know, and turn it up. Now, that was good advice from you. Well, it runs, you know, I mean, first gear is only so short, you know. I'm Big Al, welcome to Dino Flash videos. I'm here in the Boogie Down Bronx. I'm here at uh, Headway Performance. This is where I get all my cylinder head work done. I've just brought a couple of Subaru Virgin heads, stock heads here, to get modified by the master Ramon on the Headway Performance wet flow bench. That's how you, uh, just like a dyno, it measures the performance of the car to see how much power you're making. The flow bench measures the performance of the head to make sure that it's flowing enough power. Beautiful place, man.
good to be here in the Bronx. My next stop, I'm going to the famous Hunts Point Auto Salvage Yard to pick up a part for my wife's truck. So I'm Big Al. I'm here in the Boogie Down Bronx, USA, bro. My main man. What's happening, bro? Yo, show me the anarchy, bro. Ah! Yo, what's happening, bro? This is a tattoo place slash barber shop, slash pool hall, slash everything, salon, man. Slash oh, they got some. They got some nice bootylicious girls happening here in the Bronx, bro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What what kind of tattoo are you giving her, man? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm here at the world famous Hunts Point Auto Salvage. This place is no joke, man. I mean, basically, any type of setup you're looking for, these are all like the soul of a dead car, man. You name the type of car, they got it here, man. You want your door, you want your front end, you got your engine, your tires, anything, man. I wonder if they got any Evo parts here, man, or Subaru parts, probably. LQ, LKQ Corporation owns this. It's Hunts Point Auto Parts. Uh, some crazy shit, man. Look at almost a brand new X5. Salvaged. Crazy, man. Mercedes. This is it, man. Crazy life. You know, I often ask myself at 10 o'clock at night why I'm still here working on my car. What motivates me? Been working all weekend on my Subaru motor. Yesterday I worked on the Evo. I don't stop. Today I'm working on the Subaru. Uh, I got some mementos here in my garage, in my house where I like to come and relax. This is uh, from 2002. Chris Ratto, Big Al, you the man. Keep up the good work. They get that Subaru into the 11s. This was my old, my old Subaru over here, my old bug eye. This is at the uh, 2002 September uh, Beaver Springs East Coast Subaru Championship where I won. I finally went 1188 with my Subaru. There's a picture of it back in the day, autocrossing. I used to do autocrossing before I got into drag racing. There's another picture. There it is. That, by the way, that was my old. Uh, before I got the Subaru, that was my SL600. And then way back in the day, that was my M5 in Acapulco. That's an Acapulco I drove from here to Acapulco. But anyway, what uh, what motivates me? What what makes me work in the garage when other people should be normal person should be relaxing, watching the Yankees game, taking it easy? What gets me going? Why do I keep wrenching? I don't know. To be honest, it's like a boxer who's always in the gym training and getting ready for a fight. Or uh, maybe an artist who's always painting. All day long I'm working on people's cars trying to make them fast. And at nighttime, all I can think about is getting out here and getting going. What motivates me is the appreciation of the fans who support me and the sponsors who help me. And just keep moving, man. I only know one way, and that's to keep fighting, keep going. 24 hours ago, I was in my home garage working on my Subaru, getting the motor together. Today, we switch gears, switch it up, and we're working on the Evo. Uh, what have we done? We have the all-wheel drive motorsports D2 suspension. After seeing what amazing 60 foots and times they're getting, we're, we're going with this uh, rather cheap, but effectively sprung suspension and we have our solid mounts for our diff and we have a spool in the rear diff because the rear diff exploded and I'm installing it of course my hands are very dirty scarred and uh, we're putting the whole thing together getting ready to go to the track um, we'll get the car running up and running today tomorrow we'll get it to the Ferrari guy to do an alignment and with Mitsubishi Power, I got the Diamond Star in my rear diffuser. Mitsubishi Power will get to the track 